So, it seems like as time goes on, whenever there's something convenient coming out, like say, an SNES Classic Edition, or just some other emulation type machine, that people tend to have a sour taste about it. And they end up trying to act all elitist and show off their dicks where they compensate it for being the size of this Lay Stax can. That's not the case. It just feels like the more convenient that is out there, the less people gravitate towards. For some reason, when the NES Classic came out, people were saying, oh, well, you could get this, 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 and that, and it'd be the same thing. SNES Classic came out, people were doing the same thing, and I'm just thinking, how does it hurt you in any way for these types of things to come out? Why? Because it damages your pocketbook a little? Because, oh, those games aren't going to be worth as much because now people have more easier access to them? That's a word, right? That's right. People have more access to them, so that all of a sudden makes you a sour puss grow up. And I hear other comments about this type of thing where people will say, oh, well, you can just get a Raspberry Pi, put ROMs on it, get a crap ton of games, and it's pretty much the same thing. But as John Riggs pointed out in his video, which I'll have in the link below, he even says it's not necessarily the most convenient way to go about it, and not everybody's going to have the knowledge to do it. You know? So you got a bunch of people that might be inept when it comes to computer stuff. And yeah, sure, there are all-in-ones, uh, all-in-one images that you can just load onto an SD card and it does all the work for you. But that doesn't mean people know how to mount it, do all the proper stuff. And it just to them, it feels like a big hassle where, as to somebody like me or to somebody like ETA Prime or, you know, just other people that are more tech savvy, this is just walking apart to them. They can just do this like that in their sleep and be done. And yeah, it only takes a few minutes to do. But it's still not convenient for every single person because then there's all this bunch of cluttered up mess. You have to go through the settings, go through the video options and all that stuff. It's not simplified. So you have to like figure out what works. And also there's compatibility issues. So, yeah, not everybody's going to elevate towards the idea of a Raspberry Pi. A Raspberry Pi is a really good solution. So is a Nintendo Wii, another really good solution. The Wii U, a great solution. You know why? Because it's digital out. HDMI. So, yeah, there's that. But not everybody's going to have the patience to mod their Wii, mod their Wii U, or put together a Raspberry Pi. That's why these consoles exist. That's why people go out and buy these things, eat them up because they want the convenience. Convenience over, well, it's just pretty much convenience overall. But I like to think that more options to play these classic games shouldn't be labeled as a bad thing. It should be labeled as an amazing thing. That's not a bad thing. That's a good thing. I've been Mr. Rose, your favorite YouTuber. I'm signing out. Peace. I don't know which side is the good or bad, so.